Today, we're doing a realistic build to survive in Minecraft. Dex, wait a sec. I can see myself. Yeah, what the heck are we doing? Well, this is a realistic build to survive. And yeah, you can actually see your body and everything around us looks super, super realistic. It's supposed to be really crazy. This is super crazy. Yeah, look at these flowers. Okay, guys, but at some point, we're going to get attacked by a bunch of scary mobs. So make sure to go inside in each one of your corners and start building yourself a secure base. Okay, gotta go. Bye. And I think the first thing I want to do is start making a huge border out of wool so I can have like a nice little house. A house? That's a pretty good idea. But wool isn't strong at all. How do you expect to like survive? I mean, wool's pretty strong. And Zoe, aren't you literally using leaves? This is way weaker than wool. Leaves and flowers? Maybe the monsters have allergies and they'll stay away. You're betting on the monsters having allergies? Are you serious? Yes, dead serious. Oh my goodness. And Nox, what are you even trying to do? I'm gonna make a tank. You're gonna make it. Wait, why would you make a tank? Well, it's actually gonna be made out of wool, but it's gonna be a tank because it's gonna look really cool. Uh, see, look at that, Zoe. Nox is using wool too. See, he's a genius. Whatever. Wool is not strong. I bet you my leaves are stronger than wool. Well, we'll see whose base ends up surviving the longest. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be me and Nox's. Probably not. Okay, let me start building out the corners of my base, and I think I wanna go like three or four blocks tall in the corner. I'll stack that up, stack the same side, and now I can start filling it all in. And once I have this, I kind of want to be able to see on the outside because we don't really know where any of the mobs are going to come from, so maybe I should add in, like, glass. Okay, let me start adding in a bunch of glass to the front. And wait, Nox, your tank is actually looking pretty cool so far. Yeah, it's getting there, but I misplaced it. You misplaced it? Wait, how did you mean you replaced it? It looked pretty nice. No, I want the tracks over the side because I don't want them sticking over the red line. Oh, okay, yeah, that kind of makes sense. And it looks like Zoe's adding in the rest of her house with still a bunch of these leaves. Isn't it pretty? I mean, it is pretty, but I'm telling you, it's probably not the best defense once we start getting attacked. I'm sure it's going to be okay. Well, I guess we'll have to wait and see about that. And hey, Zoe, what do you think about all the glass on the outside of my base? Isn't it a really useful touch? Yeah. Is it reinforced glass or just regular glass? Uh, I just figured it's going to be normal glass for now. I don't think there's really a need for reinforced glass. Reinforced glass is stronger. Zoe, you're literally using leaves. Why would I trust your opinion? Because you're using wool. Wool's weak. Yeah, and so are leaves. Leaves are literally from trees and they make like paper and stuff. They can't be that strong. But they have pollen on them. So they start sneezing. Okay, and what if they aren't allergic, Zoe? Then what? Then I'm going to use weapons, duh. Well, okay, you can do whatever you want. And I think most of my house is basically built. I just need to add in a roof. And actually, instead of making the roof out of this lime wool, I think I'm going to add in some oak planks. So here we go. Let me decorate this side out here. I'll fill in all the top of the roofing over here. And yeah, guys, keep in mind, they can like attack us from anywhere inside of this city. Seriously, anywhere? So like from the sides, from the back? Yeah, that's kind of what anywhere means, Zoe. Not good. And there we go. Okay, now the roof is filled in for my house. Let me also make sure to build it in the floor. And I think I'm also going to throw some glowstone in here. That way it can actually look kind of nice. Glowstone's super pretty. So let me grab some of this glowstone. And like I said, I want to place it down in each of the corners. And oh my goodness, the glowstone looks so realistic. Let me just make sure to add a bunch of this wood. And hey, Nox, how's your tank coming along? It's coming along really, really good. So what's the point of the tank? Like, how's it going to defend you? Well, because I'm going to be living in the tank and then I'm going to put like a, uh, maybe like a cannon on it or something. Oh, okay. That kind of makes sense. And wait, I kind of love this because you decided to use green. Uh, I hate green, but it's a tank, so it has to be green. Ah, uh, see, look at that. I mean, everyone's using green. Zoe's using green. You're using green. And I'm using green. Mine's also purple. I mean, yeah, yours also is purple, but it's mostly green. Uh, I don't want to think about it too much. I didn't know green was your guys' favorite color, too. It's definitely not. Green's like the worst color ever. Yeah, I hate green. But then why are you both using it? I think you're both just lying to yourselves. Lying to ourselves? Yeah, I don't think so. I think the only person lying to themselves is you. How would I be lying to myself? I literally love the color. I think that you're lying to yourself by saying that you love the color. We all know your favorite color is blue. Ew, blue. Blue is disgusting. Yeah, I hate blue too. But Dex, I read your diary one time and you were like, secretly, I love the color but, blue. Zoe, stop talking. No, stop talking. No, Zoe, no, stop talking. You can't tell Docs that. Wait, blue? You like blue? No, she's lying, Doc. She's just lying. I think you're lying. Oh my gosh, Zoe, what's wrong with you? Probably a lot of things. Well, let's see. What type of door do I want to add it to the front? Did you guys add any type of cool door? No, mine's just spruce, I think. Yeah, I don't have a door yet. Well, I think I'm actually going to add in this bookshelf door. Yes, look at this. And oh gosh, wait, it's a little bit too short. Uh, I think I need a taller door than that. Okay, here we go. Now I can add in some bookshelves to my door. Hey, Zoe, come check this out. Okay, I'm coming over. Basically, I just want it to look like a bookshelf so that way no one actually thinks it's 
closes the door, but as soon as you press on it, everything will open up. I actually love this, but you don't know how to read. Well, I don't know how to read. What does that even have to do with me having a door for bookshelves? That doesn't even make a difference. You mean bookshelves for a door? No, I mean doors for a bookshelf. You don't even know what you mean. Maybe if you read more, you'd be smarter. What? That's totally messed up, Zoe. You haven't even added anything cool. Like, you don't even have, like, any cool doors. You have these normal doors that look ugly. They're cute, and they match the theme. Uh, okay. Your theme's kind of trash. And oh my gosh, Nox, your build is huge. What's going on over here? Yeah, it's gonna be gigantic. I didn't realize the tank was gonna be this big. What in the world? Okay, well, actually, I need to start making my build a little bit bigger. So why not add some stairs going to the second floor? And I think the stairs I want to use are these quartz stairs, since quartz is like one of my favorite blocks in the game. All I need to do is just throw down some wood to make sure I can actually step on these areas. And then I'll fill it up a little bit, breaking this part out. And perfect. Okay, I think I have basically all the stairs that I need. Uh, is it actually gonna light up? And yes, perfect. It lights up nicely. And uh, Zoe, why did you just get that achievement? What are you doing? Oh, I'm just like putting some armor together. Oh, you're putting armor together? That's actually a pretty good idea. Maybe I should do that next. Copycat? But how am I a copycat, Zoe? We all need armor to fight off everything. Yeah, but you're doing it right after I did it. Sounds like you're not very creative. Well, actually, I'm not doing it right after you did it because right now I'm just adding in a big fence. Whatever you say. Here we go. Let me add in a few more pieces and perfect. I think my house is actually coming together pretty nicely. Wait, did you just say you were building a fence? Uh, yeah, of course I was building it a fence. Wait, are you building it a fence too? Yeah, you just reminded me. I need one too. Wait, Zoe, you're literally a copycat. Are you serious? I'm only a copycat because you are a copycat. Duh. That doesn't even make any sense at all. Yes, it does. Oh my gosh. Well, whatever. Okay, I'm going to go back in my base and start adding some more things in. And wait a second, guys. I just got put in survival mode. How about you two? Yeah, I was put into survival. Oh my gosh. Catnap is outside my door. Oh my gosh, there are catnaps. Get him. In the world, there's so many catnaps. And guys, I don't even have a weapon. How do you not have a weapon? Because I completely forgot. I didn't even know that we needed a weapon. Ah, oh, they're jumping me outside. Nox, help me. Shit, I'm a house. Oh, there is so many of them. And, oh, wait, I think I'm about hide inside of your tank. Wait, there's no way to get up on your tank, Nox. Are you serious? I wasn't done yet. Oh my goodness. Help me out, Zoe. Where are you at? Uh, I'm inside my base. I just took out a catnap. What, you're inside your base? Wait, what? You have armor, Zoe. Get out here and help us. No, I'm scared. I'm literally fighting them off with an arrow while you guys are doing nothing. Actually, Nox is doing something, but Zoe, you're doing nothing. I just got rid of one of the catnaps. Nox, come on, quick. I only have like five hearts left. I can't keep fighting them all off. I'm doing my best. I'm trying to get them. Oh my goodness. Come on, come on, come on. Oh yes, Zoe, you're here. I have golden apples. Do you want one? Uh, yeah, actually, I would love a golden apple. Wait, I think these are the last two, so we're doing pretty good right now. Here we go. Let's just take them out in perfect. I think we're able to take out the last of them. Hey, Nox, you're shooting at me. Are there no more? No, there's no more. What are you doing? Hey, stop shooting at each other. I see this purple one over there. I'm trying to get it. No, this is just Zoe. Stop it. Oh, is it Zoe? Oh, I'm sorry. And wait, guys, look at that. We went back into creative mode. Perfect. Awesome. That means we defeated all of them. Yeah, we defeated the first wave, but I think it's pretty obvious that our bases aren't strong enough because we all kind of got destroyed at some point. Very true. So what do you think we should do? Well, I'm going to add some more stuff to my base, and I think the first thing I want to add it is like a lava moat on the outside. A lava moat? That's so cool. Yep, you better not take my idea, Zoe. I made that all by myself. We'll see. And I think after I'm done with that, maybe I'll upgrade some of the blocks on my base. Like, I could use like concrete instead of this wool, since I'm pretty sure concrete's a little bit stronger. I'm gonna add some reinforced wool. Oh, you're gonna add in reinforced wool? That's actually a really good idea, Nox. Yeah, I definitely need it. I think I'm gonna keep my leaves, but I'm gonna add a few defenses. Wait, you're gonna keep your leaves? Zoe, we all saw that those things were not very strong. Why do you want to keep your leaves? They were super super strong. I don't even know what you guys are talking about. Okay, let me fill in the back section with lava, and I think my base is pretty much all good on the outside. Hey, wait a second. I kind of just thought of another idea. Hey, Zoe, I have a really good idea for fences. What is it? Instead of using like these normal fences on the bottom, why don't I get some electric fences? Or maybe I can even get some barbed wire fences. How about use barbed wire? Electric seems a little scary. Yeah, electric is a bit scary, but if I added all of these super cool barbed wire, it should be able to defend the outside of my base. Okay, Okay, let me add the rest of the barbed wire on the outside. And guys, once I have this, it's going to be really hard for any of the characters to get inside, right? Yeah, definitely. I'll just throw down a few more pieces and I'll connect it at the front. And oh, wait, I'm kind of seeing a little bit of another issue. What is it? Well, right now, anyone could just walk on the little deck I have and make it into my base. So maybe I should change that. That would probably be smart. What I'm thinking I could do is get a command block. And basically, I'll tell them a command block to fill this with lava wine I want it. But whatever I want it to fill it with oak planks, I'll tell it to do that too so i can walk back and forth so let me grab one of these command blocks and i'll place it inside of the floor and i'm guessing this first 
mustard right here can be the command block that'll turn everything on so let me leave a sign here that says on and next to that i'll put a sign that says off but now i need to figure out the actual coordinates of this area so let me grab one of my magic wands and using this i can just select two points and okay there we go now i have the coordinates that i can put inside of the command block okay now that both of the coordinates are in let me just make sure to test this out if i turn this on it should set everything to be planks let's see and perfect that works and once i hit lava it should go everything to be lava this looks so good but now that this is done let me go ahead and see what everyone else has been adding in and uh zoe what are you making over here i have an archery tower oh you have an archery tower so you can just sit up here and like mess with all the mobs pretty easily exactly i can see everything from up here so while you're running around i could be safe up here that's a pretty good idea and zoe do you actually want a faster way to get up here what is it we could make you like a water tower a water tower how do you make that okay zoe so what we have to do is add in some flowers on the outside like this and we're also gonna have to put down some of these sides just to make sure the water doesn't leak out anywhere i still don't get how this is gonna work look it works super super efficiently look all i have to do is fill up all of this and uh wait a second why did all the water leak out oh wait does it leak out because of the leaves oh my goodness you're just causing trouble now no no it's all gonna work zoe look let me just uh figure out how to do this real quick and once i figure this out it's all gonna work perfectly let me just fill that up with a little bit of soul sand for the moment and i'll go up and then i can select both of the corners and just set everything to be water super easily i'll break that part out now i'll stack over here and let's place one block over here that i can just break again and then walk to the bottom and this is where everything's actually gonna be water zoe i'm excited to see if you can actually pull this off okay now once i set it to water it should work pretty efficiently and oh gosh wait does it work zoe yeah it's pushing me up but how do i get down well we're gonna have to figure out a way for you to get down but we are also gonna need a door here to make sure the water doesn't like leak out everywhere so let me bring some of this soul sand and now i can place a door and it should work so as soon as you step into this you go straight up and yes okay that works perfectly i do have to smooth it out a little bit Ooh, that was super fun let's see maybe what i could do is place another piece of soul sand here and i don't like how the water's all filled in everywhere here but i kind of think you just have to deal with that for now but like you did say we do need a way to get down so uh what do you think the best way is you want to pick like a little pool that you could jump on a little pool that i can jump on what do you mean so look this is kind of what my idea is right now i'm gonna get you a nice little diving board and basically you're gonna jump off this diving board into a little pool of water i'm not very good at jumping off diving boards well i mean you should be pretty fine i'm gonna make you like a decent sized pool so nothing should go wrong we'll see about that and also to make you happy i'm gonna make this pool area out of purple wool so let me start stacking that out dax watch this wait no zoe i'm not done yet oh gosh please don't jump down Woo! oh my goodness see zoe if you were in survival mode you would have taken like a million hearts of damage no because i'm super strong that has nothing to do with strength though well let me just go back and add in a bunch of this water and okay zoe it should be good now do you want to test it out did you see that yeah, it looks like you made it in pretty easily. All you have to do is just jump in here, and then whenever you want to go up, you can just walk right to this door and just fly straight up. It should be pretty simple. Hey, that was pretty fun. Yeah, it is super fun, but actually, I want to figure out a way to get rid of this water because it's super annoying. Let's see. Maybe if I like put one of these blocks here and replace that, and oh gosh, wait, the water's leaking everywhere now. That's okay. The leaves need it to grow. The leaves need the water to grow. Are you serious? Yeah, obviously. Plants need water. Well, as long as you have that now, Zoe, you should be pretty much good. Let me see what Nox is doing. And Nox, what in the world is going on over here? here this is the tank this is the tank wait is this like the blaster on the front yeah of course what in the world this thing is huge but uh nox how are you supposed to get up to your tank well there's actually a little way down here you have to enter from the bottom of the tank oh okay that makes sense so you can just come up right here and oh my goodness it is so dark in here uh -huh. this is the most armored place in the tank so actually this is kind of where i hang out and then the command center is going to be up here oh, okay the command center is right up here let me take a look at that and oh this is a uh, this is pretty nice honestly Honestly, Nox. Uh huh. And then you could go around the sides if you need to shoot stuff with your bow and arrow. Oh, so like you basically have your own archer tower like Zoe's. Exactly. And then I can go to the very, very top if I need to. Oh, okay, that's pretty cool. Actually, I do need to add in some more stuff now that you guys are giving me some a little bit of inspiration. And I think the first thing I want to do is replace all of this wool because I kind of know that wool isn't strong enough now. So what I can do is just set a bunch of this lime concrete, which will be way better. So let me start building a few sections of these. And I kind of want to archer tower as well hey nox i think i'm also gonna build an archer tower like you two no don't do that but why can't i build an archer tower like you two that's not fair because it was our idea no but mine's gonna be even cooler because what i think i'm gonna do for my archer tower is have like an elevator going up there lame you think my archer tower is lame i don't think your archer tower is lame i think his is gonna be lame but his is probably inspired by mine because he always copies me what no way zoe mine's gonna be way cooler i'm gonna have like an elevator leading up to the top that's like gonna carry us up there what you're gonna have an elevator so that means you are copying me 
No, Zoe, my elevator isn't going to be anything like yours. Mine's going to be like more high tech and a lot faster. But you built mine. I thought you were giving me the best stuff. Yeah, I did give you the best stuff for then, but now I have an even better idea. So now mine's going to be the best. This isn't fair. Look, Zoe, how about this? You can actually use my elevator whenever you want. That sounds awesome. If it's as cool as mine or even cooler, it's going to be so much fun. And actually, maybe what we could do, Zoe, is I build the elevator up here for me and then we can connect our archer towers together. That would be perfect. Then we can have secret meetings and talk about Nox. Exactly. Hey, don't talk about me. No, I guess we are going to have to talk about you, Doc. Sorry. Why? Uh, Because, um, I don't know, just because. Uh, fine, whatever. Okay, so let me start building out the main part of where my elevator is going to be. And let's see, how far did Zoe go? Uh, it looks like she did four blocks, but I'm only going to keep mine to be three blocks. So I'll break this corner over here and I guess I'll do the same to make it like a three by three. And now I can add the actual thing that controls the elevator. And just for it to make sense, I probably need to put it on this side. So let me stack it here. And now I have to go all the way up and figure out where Zoe's thing starts at. And I think this is pretty much the same height. Maybe I'll go down one more block. Okay, Zoe, I think I pretty much have it figured out. Okay, so are you going to start building over? No, I got to test out the elevator first. Look, all I have to do is press this little button right here. And yes, look at that. We can go up. We're flying. Yep, it's super fancy. It is a great way to get up pretty efficiently. But ah! You don't have a second floor. Well, yeah, I'm starting to build up the second floor. That's how our things are going to connect. Okay, well, you better get building. That's what I'm trying to do, Zoe. And just to make sure that we know that everything's changing right here, I'm going to use a little bit different piece of wood. And how far apart are you? Uh, you're really not that far, so I guess I get to connect it like this. And wait a second, Zoe, what are you doing with the elevator? I'm just riding it up and down. Oh my gosh, you're going to break it. No, I'm not. Zoe, if you break it, you have to pay for it. I'm not breaking it, and I'm not buying it. Okay, let me just fill in the last few sections with some of these oak Planks. Perfect. Now that I have this, uh, I actually got to break this fence real quick, Zoe, because I'm also going to use the fence over here. Rude. Let me just make sure to stack them on both sides. And actually, since this is like a little archer area, maybe it's even a good idea for me to add in some stairs so I can get like a better point of view. That would probably be a good idea. So first, let me just add in the rest of the elevators on both of these sides. And once I get that, I'll just grab the stairs. And okay, that looks kind of weird, but I guess it kind of works out. I'll grab the staircase right here. And I don't want purple staircases on my side. Well, the archer tower has be split in half. This is still part of my half. Okay, fine. You can have that half. I'm going to use this half and I'm going to use this color because it kind of looks like green. Ooh, that does not look like green. That looks like blue. Are you trying to tell us something? What? No, Zoe, this is literally green. What? Are you colorblind? Dax's favorite color is blue. It does look blue. What? No, it's not my favorite color at all. You know what? I'm actually going to use a different stair. I can't deal with you guys. Look, let me just break all of this out and see, Zoe, this is perfectly live. There you go. And we'll have the bull stop here. See, this is super easy, Zoe, because now we can just stand up here and like use our bows and arrows to hit everything. Yep. Hey, Nox, how about you go stand in the grass? I need to do some target practice. Heck no, I'm not going out there. What the heck? How am I supposed to hit the mobs next time they attack us? Hey, girl, I got something for you. What is it? Here, right over here. Uh, what are you doing, Nox? Oh, look at that. He's just putting out a bunch of targets for you. Look, I hit one of them. Oh, good job, Zoe. You're actually doing pretty good. I don't know. I missed the last two. Yeah, well, that's kind of a little unfortunate. Hey, don't get so close to me. Hey, guys, wait. I got put into survival mode again. Me too. I'm in survival. Oh, gosh. Let's see. What do we have to deal with it? What in the world, guys? It's a bunch of skinny toys and huggy wuggy. This is not good. Well, I actually kind of forgot to get myself some armor. Hey, Zoe, I'm just going to take some of your stuff. No way. Yep, I already took it. I have the bow and arrows and I have the golden apples and I'm all good to go now. Not cool. That's my stuff. What? What's not cool about it? Because those are mine. You should have packed your own if you wanted some. Well, we're already sharing an archery tower, Zoe, so it kind of works out fine. I guess you're right. Here we go. I'm taking out a bunch of these spider guys. And wait, where'd the huggy wuggies go? They're back here. Oh, gosh. It looks like they're going to Nox's tank. Look, I'll help you out real quick, Nox. Okay. Come on. Let me just use these. And perfect. I took out one. And yes, I took out another one. I've taken out a bunch of spiders. There's still a few back here. Come on. Let's see who can take out the spider first. Let's do this. And yes, let's go. We took it out. Let's also make sure to take out this huggy wuggy in the front. Oh my gosh. This guy's just running away. I think he's scared of us. He's dodging. Uh, okay, perfect. Zoe took him out. Hey, do you guys see anyone else? Oh yeah, there's still a couple skimmy toys over here. There's a toilet. And a huggy wuggy. There's also another huggy wuggy. Wait, where's the huggy wuggy at? On the other side of Nox is building. On the other side of Docs is building. Oh gosh, wait, I see him. I'm gonna use my elevator and get down there. I already took him out. Oh wait, no, I think there's still like two more on the other side of Nox's building. Oh really? This is not good. Yeah, they are over here. Get him! Come on, let me go ahead and use my bow and arrow and take them out. And Nox, there's a bunch of stuff below your tank too. Oh my gosh! I got him! Oh my goodness, wait, that was really close. Ah, there's still spiders! Spider toilet! I got him! Take them out, take them out. Ah, stop it! I didn't mean to. Uh-huh. There's another one, watch out! Wait, there's another one where? Ah! 
<laughs> oh my god, Zoe, you just took out Nox. I didn't mean to. And perfect, guys. I think we just took out the last spider. Hey, do you guys see anything else? No, I don't see anything. I don't see anything. Okay, perfect. I think that means we won this wave. And perfect, guys. We're back in creative mode. That means we survived the whole entire wave. We did so good. Yeah, we did really good, except I died. How did that happen? Well, because somebody shot me in the back of the head with the arrow. I'm sure that they didn't mean it, and they had really good intentions. I don't think they did. Yeah, Zoe, what were you doing? Why'd you take out Nox? I didn't mean to. Uh-huh. His great big noggin just kept getting in the way. I was trying to kill some skibbity toilets. Oh, my goodness, guys. Well, the waves are going to get increasingly stronger, so I don't know how strong this last wave is going to be. We might want to add in some more stuff. We're going to need some armor and some weapons. Oh, yeah, we do need armor and weapons. Wait, why don't we just make, like, a little armory room? That works perfect. And, Zoe, we already have a little section up here. Maybe we could just carve out an air. We could build, like, a big armory room. That sounds good. Hey, Nox, do you want to be a part of this? I mean, I kind of already have an armory room. Oh, okay, fine. If you have an armory room, you're not going to be a part of our army room. Okay. Let me add in some stuff on this side. And let's see, maybe I can even do this quicker if I just select two of these sides and then stack it out. I could go like 11 blocks deep. And hey, Zoe, do you think this is big enough for an army room? I definitely think this is big enough. Okay, perfect. Well, actually, let's just go ahead and add a bunch of the fences. And do we even need like a roof here? Or can we just kind of use the fences everywhere? I guess we could just use the fences. Okay, here we go. I'll add in some of these walls over here and then we'll connect it into the back. And now we just need like armor stands and stuff. Okay, but I'm gonna use netherite armor armor so don't copy me fine i don't want to copy you anyways i'm actually planning on using diamond armor since i like diamond armor the best Ooh, diamond armor you know what color diamonds are uh blue like bluish oh what what no this doesn't mean i like blue i just want to use it because i thought it looked cool Dax's favorite color is blue no my favorite color is not blue zoe you don't even know what you're talking about i don't know you prove time and time again that your favorite color is blue well actually i'm also thinking we should probably add in like a chest with some weapons uh what type of weapons do you have zoe i know you already have the bows and arrows do you have anything else um, I have snowballs. I have slime balls. Wait, you have snowballs? Why do you have snowballs? Because Skippity Toilets hate snow. They don't like the cold. Uh, is that even true, Zoe, or you just make that up? Are you telling me you didn't know that? No, I didn't know that. How would I know that? Because that's like basic Skibbity knowledge. Okay, I guess whatever you say. And man, you have a lot of armor sets. Do you plan on breaking them all? You could just never be too safe. And Zoe, I actually have another really good idea. What is it, Dax? Well, just in case we start getting overwhelmed, why don't we just have like a little helicopter that can get us out of here a helicopter do you even have your pilot's license uh yeah i have my pilot's license i totally know how to fly you don't sound very confident no i'm super super confident so like, look i'm gonna build us a little pathway where we can put a helicopter and then if things go really bad we can just get on it and fly away are we gonna include Knox in the whole flying away thing uh i mean we don't have to what do you think hmm We'll see how he behaves. Wow, you definitely have to include me. Well, I mean, you didn't want to be part of our armory room, and you also didn't want to be part of the elevator, so do you want to be a part of the escape thing? It's because I have my own armory. I already have one built. Why would I need a second one? I don't know, because ours is cooler. No, it's not. Yes, it is. It's way cooler. And look at this huge helicopter we have. You don't have one of these. You haven't even seen my armory room. Well, let me go ahead and take a look at it. And what in the world? You have a bunch of armor. Yeah, those are my soldiers. You're going to have soldiers fight for you? Yeah, of course, but uh, they're just armor. Oh, okay. Well, I guess they're not really gonna fight for you then are they yeah they're not but i mean it's really cool that i have soldiers in a tank i mean i guess it's kind of cool i think our bases are cooler uh, whatever okay let me just add all the little things and Nox, if you do want to be on an airplane you're gonna have to sit on the outside what on the outside that sounds dangerous no there's like a little place you can like sit down that's where you're gonna have to sit okay let me just make sure to add a fence so that way no one accidentally falls off and wait we should even have like a nuclear bomb that blows up everything that'd be really really cool i'd love to see a nuke go off so what I'm thinking I should do is add in a bud over here and probably get a bunch of redstone so we can connect it to a piece of TNT. So let me grab the redstone and then I have to figure out what type of TNT I want to use. And I kind of want to use one of these doomsday TNTs. What do you guys think? Doomsday TNT sounds so dangerous. Okay, well, let's see which one is probably the best to use. And oh, I want to use this one called the death ray. The death ray TNT? Are you sure that we're going to be okay? Yeah, I mean, if we're in a plane, we can just fly away, right? Yeah, I guess you're right. Okay, let me connect this to a little area that's actually going to hold the TNT. And I'm thinking we could probably have this like sit in the middle of all our bases, which is technically going to be on my house. Now I'll just have the TNT there, run a bunch of redstone to connect everything. And then after this is done, I could just place the button right here. And everywhere we're going to leave, we can just hit the button and fly out of here. I want to push the button. No, Zoe, you can't press the button right now. Otherwise, we're all going to get blown up. Oh, I still want to push the button. Hey, Zoe, I kind of want to go check out Nox's place. What do you think? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, let's just hop on our elevator. And now we can go down. And hey, Nox, we're coming over there. You're coming over here? Yeah, we want to take a tour of your tank. Okay, well, I'll meet you at the bottom. Okay, let's just meet down here. And yep, look at this. So he has a super cool green tank. Hi, Doc. 
Max? Yeah, hello, hello. Do you like my dispensers that I had this round? Uh, what do these dispensers even do? You'll have to see. Come on. And here's the entrance. Okay, let's head up into the take it. Oh my gosh, it's still super dark in here for me. Yeah, it's super dark. I didn't get the chance to really add too many lights or anything like that, but this is where I'll sleep. Oh, wow. Your uh, bedroom is very fancy, Nox. Yeah, it's not really too, too fancy. It's meant more for uh, like armor and being secure. Oh, okay. I definitely can kind of see that. Yeah, then I put a whole bunch of armor sets in here in case I ever run out. I have a whole bunch of weapons and armor and a bunch of cool stuff. Oh, this is a very cool armory room. Okay, you weren't lying. You really didn't need our armory room. Yeah, see? And then I have out here, and this is what the dispensers do. Oh, they shoot a bunch of arrows down? Yeah, because you guys said last time that a whole bunch of people got underneath my base. Oh, that is so smart, Nox. Uh-huh. And then if I need to, I can come all the way to the top. And this is like where your little archer tower is? Yeah, kind of, sort of. It's more so just like the hatch if I need to leave. Oh, cool. That's pretty nice. Yeah, I can bail out. Oh, wait, you can bail out, Nox? You know we have a helicopter, right? Yeah, but just in case if I need to go someplace else. And wait a second, guys. I gotta put it into survival mode again. Oh, no. That means they're coming. Here, take some golden apples. And oh, my goodness, guys. It's a bunch of skimmy toys. And I see catnip. And wait, I even see the G-Man? It's Huggy Buggy. We gotta get to our buildings. Yeah, I have to make it over to my building, too. Okay, let me go ahead and run through the tank. And oh, this is gonna be super scary, Zoe. Yeah, this is not gonna be good. I'm just gonna stay on Nox's building. Okay, you go ahead and do that. I'm gonna turn off my bridge. And now I can use the elevator to get where all our armor and stuff is. Wait, send it back down. Wait, what? How'd you even get over here, Zoe? I jumped from Nox's building to yours. What? You seriously jumped? Sure did. Oh, wait. I even mean to grab that armor. I don't want this junk. I want to use diamond armor. Huh, more blue. Let me grab all this. And hey, I'm not using it because it's blue. I just used it because diamond armor is cool. I don't know. Let me grab this. And I don't need any of those snowballs. Okay, I have a bunch of arrows. I have my golden apples. And yeah, I think I'm pretty much good. Okay, guys, let's go ahead and use our bow and arrows to try to take them out. I got them. Wait, you got one of them? Yeah, I got Nightmare Huggy Wuggy. Oh, perfect. I'm trying to get this Nightmare Huggy Wuggy over here, but it looks like he's barely even taking any damage. Yeah, what the heck is this? Hey, Nox, have you been able to take out anyone yet? Yeah, I got one. You got one? Have you been able to take out anyone else besides that? I can't take out anyone with this bow and arrow. No, they're getting stronger, I think, each round. What in the world? Guys, we don't even have the weapons to take out these people. Oh, uh, this isn't good. What do we do? They're taking damage from my snowballs. Zoe, I don't think they're taking any damage from your snowballs. Those things barely do anything. Oh, no. They're, I'm being jumped. Guys, I think we should honestly just get to the helicopter and lay off the TNT. If we can't take them out with our bow and arrows, we don't really have anything else to take them out with. Not good. Not good. How do I get up there? Yeah, how do we get up here? Well, I mean, there's an elevator. And look at that, Noxie. You can use the elevator. And look, Zoe, come on. Quick, run. Send it back down. Good luck, Zoe. Oh, my gosh. I'm sending it back down. Hurry up, Zoe. Oh, I'm still on here. Go back up. Go back up. Okay, both of you hop inside that helicopter, and we're going to get ready to take off, okay? Let's go, let's go. Okay, guys, I'm going to hit the button. Let's hop in the plane in quick. Everyone, let's get out of here. Let's go. All right, outside. Let's go. Okay, come on. Let's go ahead and fly in. Yes, we can take off. This is crazy. Yeah, and it sounds like the TNT's already going off. I wonder how much damage it's going to do to our build. Sheesh. Oh, my goodness. Wait, everything's getting completely blown up. Can you guys see it? Yeah, my building's gone. Yeah, I think mine's gone, too. Actually, it's still kind of there. What in the world? Wait, how did yours survive it? Oh, it looks like mine didn't survive at all. Oh my goodness, guys. Everything is completely destroyed around here. This was crazy. You definitely chose the right TNT. And yeah, I definitely think I did pick the right TNT because everything got completely destroyed, even the mobs. And that was a super crazy video. Make sure to watch the next one by clicking the video on screen. Bye, guys.